Uh, today at uh, just past two o'clock this afternoon, we had a report of a fire uh, at 176 Maple Ave uh, in this uh, uh, condo complex. Uh, we had fire on the second floor. Uh, on our arrival, heavy fire was found. Uh, most occupants were out of the building. We had several occupants still inside the building that need to be rescued. Uh, we had one transport to the hospital with severe burns. Uh, he was a resident from the original apartment that caught fire. We had fire on the uh, second and third floor with extension into the attic. And currently at this point, we're still working to check for extension. How many people are displaced from this fire? Uh, approximately 50. Red Cross has been notified. Okay, the alarm went off and we thought it was another fake alarm. So I went out to the deck. There was lots and lots of smoke coming. So my son ran down the hallway towards the fire. Um, gentleman that had started the fire jumped off the deck on fire. My son pulled him out from underneath the deck and I ran down stairs. It's the first floor, second floor, as far as I could get banging on all the doors to see if anybody was still in there, but I could only get halfway down the second floor because I couldn't breathe anymore. And I guess the gentleman burnt the back of his head, his arms, his hands, and his jacket was melted. Other than that, I don't know. And I was banging so hard that I don't know if my hand is broken or not. They said maybe, but I think it's okay. She's a wonderful person. She, I have a child that's disabled, and I'll tell you what, she came down knocking on the door, and she, <laughs> we got all out, we're fine, but it's scary, it's a scary, thing to deal with and you you know I came running out and you could see the flames from the window and you know it, it's it's scary when you see a mom holding her child with no shoes on and she's you know holding her child and and all her stuff is like ruined you know it's it's scary this this shouldn't have happened